Your suit? Yeah, well, even though you wore it, technically it's always been mine because you, what's the word? You stole it. Finally seeing all that hammer tech on my armor is like watching a four-year-old finger paint on the Mona Lisa. Uh-huh, well, from where I'm standing, you just took out all the offensive weapons, which is gonna be kind of a problem when I'm on the front lines. No problem at all. You won't be wearing the Mark II anymore. Come on, are we, are we really gonna do this again? What? Beat me up and take my stuff? It was never properly calibrated for you, Rhodey. You're lucky it didn't give you a heart attack. Tony, this is not the time to start fighting this battle with the Pentagon again. The fiasco with Hammer has them on the defensive. I got them to agree that all Stark tech remains proprietary to you, as long as War Machine is on loan to the Department of Defense. You're actually calling it War Machine? I meant that as an insult. If you're gonna try to play hardball, if you're gonna take your toys and go home, I promise you Department of Defense will find a way to make your life miserable. Nevertheless, you, James Rhodes, are never wearing the Mark II armor again. <coughs> because I made this for you instead. Ta-da! You... made... For, for me? Tony, I... Hallmark couldn't have said it better. What's the catch? You were the most cynical, jaded person I've ever met. There's no catch? No, there's a catch. I've got to focus on Stark Tower. There's a drop date I absolutely have to meet, but the world's come to expect Iron Man will be there to protect them. Hang on, I, I'm a lieutenant colonel in the United States Air Force, not some glory hound cowboy. I thought Air Force pilots were glory hound cowboys. Don't tell me Top Gun lied to me. Sir, you have a secure call from Agent Coulson regarding shield consultation business. Thanks, Jarvis. Rhodey, I've got to take this, but think it over. The world needs Iron Man. I am not Iron Man.